Introduction Lord V the bad man Killing all these rappers and I'm back with a bad one Bills Lego So today I'm gonna be meeting with my web designer Becca We're Gonna be discussing the Kitso Studios website Hey Becca How are you? How's it going? Are you doing good? Yeah. Yeah. It should be fun. I'm excited to see what ideas Becca is going to bring to the table and we can just bounce back off each other. Okay, okay so a couple, one of the websites I like is Sweet Sound Studios. Sweet Sound Studios, they have like a, it's like an independent indie feel, like a grassroots kind of feel. And this one is clean. Very clean. Simple. They have the videos. Yeah. This is kind of what I was envisioning. Yeah, something like this. So I pulled up this. Becca, I've worked with her before, and she's a very creative individual. That's why I chose her to design the Kitsil website. Should be fun. Should be exciting. But that's just layout is fun. And I feel like as um, when clients scroll down, like it's going to be simple. They just see or oh, Studio A, Studio B, blah blah blah. Clients is just going Talk about the menu then. Okay. So, so I was thinking like, like uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, yeah. Come slick with the words like a grandpa. You got a problem with that? Banka, this is how to the vex, but I'm calm with the hand. Lord Vino, Sugar Banka, Sanka. I did float beats, but it be like I did pump up fun. They never understand okay, how I kill it till it's time to say I, I wasn't thinking that, but I agree with you. This looks good. Um, yeah, home studio. Looks like ready to go. I'm excited. Good job. Good luck on the 26th. Well, you don't need luck. <laughs> be good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, should be exciting, but we'll talk more. Um, I'll let you know when we get the pictures and we'll go from there. Yes, yes. Perfect. Make sure you get a good one. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Take care. You. you too. You. So I'm excited today. Why? Because my dad is in town. It's always good to have my dad come through. You know, we, we talk, we glean a lot of wisdom. Why are you asking now? I'm just excited to have him in town just to see. I haven't seen him in a while, so it should be fun. Well, um, I'm Chuma's dad. Um, and I'm a, you can call me a transformed dad because um, I, I moved from a concerned and a slightly worried dad to a very proud dad. Because when it all started, I mean, I didn't know that Chuma had this art in him. And um, he was quite bright, I mean, from, from in secondary school. And having finished secondary school, he had, he got a scholarship uh, from Copa Union, one of the biggest colleges in, for engineering in, in the United States. And they gave him a four-year thing with all full scholarship which was quite rare because uh, it was a, a, a selection that all over the world, it took quite a few, and he made it, but he, well, he jumped in there. <laughs> Only in one year's time, he began to come up with other ideas and said he wanted to read sound engineering mm -hmm. because he went in for electric, electrical or something like that, but he now said he wanted to do sound engineering. And, um, well... That was at that point I began to feel concerned. But, you know, the, the turning point for me really was at the age of 17 when I saw through my life. <laughs> at, uh, I think it was um, in Nigeria then. It was a talent hunt or something like that, a young talent hunt that Silver Bear did. In, and I, I attended the show and, man, I was blown apart. Because that performance was professional, was it was something that came from within, you know. And I was pretty proud. I was very proud of him that night. And that was the day I knew that we couldn't stop this guy. This was what he wanted to do. 
you should just hit it and uh, chase chase the stars wherever they are. That's how you can, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> how's his place? Fine, fine. He's doing great. He's doing great, you know. And um, we've talked a little bit, yeah, about HB. Uh, what are you guys? How far with this? I mean, we're doing so far so good. Um, we're still on track for our goal to release in 2017. Um, right now, as of right now, like you know, we have the website running. But we, we we talked and we discussed and we decided like the website, especially now in this day and age, like your website is like the face of the company. So the website is good, but we're just trying to modernize it and update it. And yeah, he had he had some pretty good ideas about this too, and uh, all about 2017. But I think it's something you guys should really move fast with because I think it's a great product. I mean. People want it. People want to see. To your HB device. I agree. I agree. Because um, Nigeria Nigerians love music, um, especially now with the Apple be taking off, and it would be cool for us to have, um, also the hardware that we can say, oh, this is coming out of Africa, and it's also and it can also stand internationally with oh, yeah. different companies. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. I go to a church and it's called Hillsong. My sister Z took me like two years ago. So when I moved to New York City, it was very important for me to find a church where I could feel comfortable. I don't really have to dress up and I could wear sweatpants if I want to. And it has like four different times because I'm not a morning person. I'm trying to be, but I'm really not. So I go to like the six o'clock service or the seven o'clock, whatever time they're like the last, like the latest, latest time. Cause you feel me? I just don't do mornings. It's not going to be me. And I love Hillsong because it's a chill atmosphere. You don't have to be dressed up. They're not yelling like, hey man, oh my God. <laughs> like I just don't do that. That's not me. So I can't be in that environment. And it's also a bunch of young college students from like NYU, St. John's, LIM, all these Parsons, like all these schools in the area. And they all come. Also, the older crowd comes to, it's just really relaxing. I don't feel like I have to compete. I feel good and regular. I feel good without makeup on. I feel good in my sweatpants. I feel good with a hoodie. It's not competition. And the pastors are Australian. They have the best accent. That's kind of why I go. Cause, you know, it's one of the reasons why I go because, you know, they're cute. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but um, I just love it. It speaks to me. I don't like loud and crazy churches. I like something that's very calm and cool and collective. It's also not long. It's not like those four-hour churches that you never leave. Like, it's kind of like in and out. And you get the word. You get your message. It speaks to you. And then you bounce. This, you need to have all of this.